A good Sunday morning to you all. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are here to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Pastor Greg Chesluck from 4th Avenue United Methodist Church in Faribault, Minnesota. I want to welcome you to this time of worship. Though we can't gather in person, we can gather online, and I'm so grateful for that. Let me invite you now to join me in a word of prayer. O oh God, our Deliverer, you led your people of old through the wilderness to the promised land. Guide now your people through our Lenten journey, tracing our Savior's steps from the wilderness to the grave. As we journey through this present wilderness, isolated from others, our normal routines, and even from gathering in person with our brothers and sisters in Christ, transform us with your grace. May we come to see Jesus more clearly, love him more dearly, and follow him more nearly, day by day. Amen. We are a people of song. Let us offer our voices in praise to God. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above, and grateful God's power and love, our shield and defender, the ancient of days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. O oh, tell of God's might, O oh, sing of God's grace, whose robe is the light. Whose cannon face, whose chariots of wrath the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is God's path on the wings of the storm. The earth with its store of wonders untold, Almighty thy power. Have found it, hath established it fast by a changeless decree, and round it hath cast like a mantle the Thy bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air. It chimes in the light, it streams from the hills, it descends to the plain, and sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. Frail children of dust, and feeble as frail, in thee do we trust, nor How firm to the end, our Maker, Defender, Redeemer, and Friend. It is indeed good to sing to the Lord. As we enter into this time of meditation, I want to share with you a couple of texts from Scripture, beginning with Psalm 46, verses 1 and 2, and the first part of verse 10. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Be still and know that I am God. And these words from the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The news about the coronavirus over recent days can leave us feeling very anxious and unsettled. And this is completely normal. But as we take seriously the advice of public health officials and follow the instructions to protect ourselves and our loved ones, 
Now is also a great time to rely on the Lord more deeply and to care for the needs of the people around us. Yes, we must take prudent actions, but our decisions don't have to be based on fear. They can be based on love. Our God is a mighty God who loves us and cares for us. And he's inviting us right now to love and care for others. So let's resolve to stay close to the Lord, to grow deeper in our faith in God. Let's also remember the promise of the Apostle Paul, that God wants to give us his peace in the midst of our trials and uncertainties. Remember the story from Daniel chapter 3 about the three men in the fiery furnace? Let me encourage you to read it again this week. These three young men faced a very real and dangerous threat, but they entrusted themselves to God. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, you should know, O King, that we will not serve your God. Daniel chapter 3, verses 17 and 18. Rather than give in to their fear and anxiety in a serious time of trial, these three men relied on God. They even praised him in the midst of the danger that they were facing, very real and present danger. In a similar way, this could be a time of great grace and opportunity for each one of us. Many events have been canceled, and that means that we have more time to pray or reflect on the scriptures to praise the Lord and to offer our prayers for others who are in need. What a blessing it would be if we could draw closer to the Lord during this difficult time, especially in the last couple of weeks of the season of Lent. Remember, too, that you are Jesus' hands and feet. God wants us to be Christ to the people around us. He wants us to extend his love to them. Even if we can't go out, you can still call someone and encourage him or her. You can devote more time to offering prayers for other people's needs. If you aren't in a high-risk age category or health group, and if you're feeling healthy, maybe you can do some shopping for an older brother or sister. Earlier today, I received an email from one of our college students who now is taking his, her classes online she offered to be a volunteer for anyone who needed to have a prescription picked up from the pharmacy or some other need. I was so encouraged to receive that email from one of our young disciples. It's important for us all to care for one another, even if we can't do it in person. If you are feeling anxious, ask yourselves, what would Jesus say to me right now? Then imagine him telling him, telling you what he told the disciples when their boat was being battered by a storm at sea. Remember how he said, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Read it again from Matthew chapter 14. Remember, Jesus is as close to you and me as he was to the apostles on that boat. Our Lord is still the Lord of all creation, whose love endures forever. Know that we at Fourth Avenue United Methodist Church, we are praying for one another. We are remembering the needs of our brothers and sisters. We stand ready to be the feet and hands of Jesus, to reach out to each other and to our neighbors who are in need. May we all be confident in God's presence and comfort more than ever before. Jesus, is so close to us. Let us gather together now and offer our prayers for the day. As we begin our prayer, let us offer together our church's breakthrough prayer. O God, our God, we praise and magnify your name. Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. With you, all things are possible. We know that you are with us and for us, and your plans are for our good, for a future and a hope. Break through into our lives and into our church. 
Stir up afresh our faith. Set our hearts aflame with the fire of your love. Open our eyes to new, fresh possibilities and fill us anew with the power of your Spirit. Usher us into a new season of faithfulness and fruitfulness for your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We lift up before you, O Lord, all who are in need today. We come against every kind of sickness and disease in Jesus' name, especially the coronavirus that has us all concerned. Give strength and sustain all who are on the front lines fighting this disease and coming to the aid of those who are distressed. Bring quickly your healing balm to all who are afflicted and protect the most vulnerable from its wake. We lift up those who are quarantined and cut off from family and friends. We pray for those enslaved to drugs and alcohol that they may be delivered. We pray for those who find themselves without shelter that they may find a home. We pray that you would touch marriages that are under distress and families in crisis. Hold them in your love, heal their broken hearts, and lift them with hope. Watch over and bless our brothers and sisters in need of your healing touch. Touch Travis and little Kinsley and Pat and Joe and Ron, Julie and Andrew, Colin, Bob and Bonnie, Keith and Matthew, and all those whom we mention in the silence of our hearts. And Lord, be with Harry as he undergoes surgery this coming week. May those who have lost loved ones experience your comfort, and may those who walk through the valley of the shadow of death rest peacefully in your loving arms and your hope-filled promises. Lord Jesus Christ, you are our refuge and strength. You are our hope and our salvation. Listen to the prayers of your faithful people. Stir up within us the gift of faith as we continue to walk along our Lenten journey through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of promises of God my Savior standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God standing on the promises that cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear us by the living word of God I shall prevail, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, bound to him eternally by love's strong core, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. I'm 
promises of God. Standing on the promises, I cannot fall. Listening every moment to the Spirit's call. Resting in my Savior as my all in all, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. It's been a real joy to worship with you today. I sincerely pray that you have a wonderful week upcoming and that you find many opportunities to grow deeper to the Lord and be in ministry to your brothers and sisters. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all God's people say, Amen.